for sure. Got sell it out if I go to sleep. We got some new bands. We got some new bands. Yeah, yeah. We got some new bands. We got some new bands. Yeah, yeah. Treating these deals like this shit's old bands. Yeah, yeah. I'm for that new bitch. Told her just bring her friend. Yeah, yeah. It's not for me. Hey, man, say me. Oh my God. We'll be back with another banger video. I hope y'all enjoyed the last video. I appreciate all the support. All the support been going crazy. I know y'all been wanting me to upload. I'm sorry that I took like a month from the last upload. Things just been going on with school and all that stuff. But I'm back and I'm better. But today, man, we're going to be doing a sneaker collection, man. Y'all see all the shoes and everything. We got like 30-something pairs of shoes or something like that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that banger shit. And I hope y'all having a good day. Just get some food, sit back, relax, and I'm going to catch y'all on the video, man. Hey, man, so like y'all know, today we're just going to be doing the sneaker collection. So let's just get straight into it, you feel what I'm saying? So the first shoe I'm going to be showing y'all today is my Balenciaga track runners, you feel what I'm saying? These are the shoes right here. I got these at the Balenciaga store. I think I paid like $1,300, $1,400, something like that. They're, they're like comfortable, like 6 out of 10 comfortable, but... They also light up. I think this is why they're mad expensive. I don't know if y'all can see because of the light, but they light up. You can change the color. So these shoes is like, they go with any outfit. The main reason I bought them is I can put them with any outfit and it'll always match. They got different settings like this. Like I'm not even touching right now. Go like this. You wanna shut it off, you just hold it. But yeah, they're just a, a all black shoe that you can match with any kind of color outfit. And I really fuck with them, but that's the main reason why I got them. So yeah, on to the next shoe. My next shoe. Is some low-key shit that I'm gonna be putting y'all on. Y'all probably never seen this shoe before. I'ma keep it real. Oh, my light is fucked up. Y'all probably never seen this shoe before. I'ma keep it real. But these are my Christian Louboutin slides. This is the same brand that makes red bottoms. I know y'all be seeing people with the my light is fucked up. I know y'all be seeing people with the little red bottom slides and the little red bottom shoes. But I got the slides. I'm a slides type of person. I really fuck with slides. Like, I don't like having to put shoes on and feeling all tight and all uncomfortable. So, I really fuck with slides. So, that's one of the reasons why I got these. And they're also, like, very low-key. Nobody really know. i never seen nobody with them before. So, nobody really knows about them to what I know. But, yeah, they're just some slides. They got some spikes on them. I don't know if y'all can see. But they got some spikes on them. And then the bottoms is red. So, they thought I would be, I'll put the shit on. I got pics of these on my IG. They're going to pop up right here. But... Yeah, these are my red bottom slides, so on to the next shoe. So for the third shoe, I'm gonna be showing y'all my off-white dunks. I think these are lot 12. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are lot 12 with the like neon green tab and the pink lacing. I don't know if y'all can see, but these are my off-white dunks. I actually traded for these off of somebody that I knew, and he gave me like multiple shoes for this one really nice shoe that I had, the Strange Love Dunks. I don't know if y'all know about those, but I traded those for like a bunch of shoes, and one of these was one of them. But yeah, they, I usually wear this if I'm wearing like a white and pink outfit or gray, gray and pink. I usually try to hide this like neon green because I don't really fuck with it. But yeah, got this little green tab right here. I think they're going for like around like five or something, 500, like, something like that. But like I said, I didn't pay for them. I had traded for them. They got the little off-white laces. I don't know if y'all can see. But yeah, just a tough overall shoe. Off-white dunks. Yeah, I think it says right there, lot 12 out of 50. But yeah, on to the next shoe. Next shoe I'm gonna be showing y'all is my Mason Miharas. I don't know if that's the order. Yeah, Mason Mihara Yasushiro. I just call them Miharas, but the brand name is Mason Mihara Yasushiro. But they kind of look like Converse, and I know y'all gonna come start in the comments with the melted Converse jokes and all that. But I really just got them because I like the, well, I guess the melted aesthetic right here. But it's almost like a Converse, but it's like, it looks like rubber or like melted down and i like the fat laces too like the wide laces but i don't think it's focused like the wide laces but it's like a almost like a fat lace i don't know if y'all can see but i really fuck with that too and it's just a nice all white shoe it got brown bottoms you feel what i'm saying i don't really wear these too much i don't know if you could tell there's like nothing there but you feel what i'm saying just a nice all white shoe but i'm gonna focus but yeah I got these off of Grilled. I don't know if y'all know what Grilled is, but it's an app where you can get really like nice, any brand clothes, brand new, used, shipped to you quick. A lot of trusted sellers on there, but I got these on Grilled. They were up for like 600, and I lowballed the seller for like 350. He actually sold them, so I had to cop them. But yeah, the tab says MMY, which is for Mason Mihari Yasushiro. But yeah, I think this is the fourth pair that I've shown, but on to the next shoe. 
<laughs> the next shoe that I'm gonna show y'all is my black and white vapes. Does you feel what I'm saying? I got these off of StockX like when they first first dropped because they had like did like a re-release of them like I think in like like 2022 I forgot what month but they had did like a re-release with like the little squiggly face and it was like three something or four something and I was like I have to cop these so I got this off stock I think it was like 350 or something like that but it's just a nice all black and white shoe it's shiny I forgot the name of the material but oh it's patent it's patent leather that's the name of the material it's like the shiny leather that I really fuck with it looks like really nice and it's harder to get dirty and stuff but yeah, it's, a, it's a babe shoe like y'all know them little babe hoodies but it's a babe shoe it says babe right here it's flipped but it says babe stuff got the little squirrely face it says babe right there too I don't know if y'all can see right there but yeah it's just a nice all black and white shoe it's almost like a Nike dunk but it got a star instead it got the little babe head right here on the laces but I just think it's a really nice tough shoe I wear these here and there but they're tough. They they're just Air Forces, but they just run a little bit small. But yeah, my babes is next shoe. The next shoe I'm gonna show y'all is it's a shoe that some people have good opinions on, some people have bad opinions on. But I mainly bought them for the comfort. The Balenciaga Speed Trainers. I have another pair, but I don't know where they are. I think they're in the trunk of my family's car or something like that, or probably in like a backpack from traveling. But I have another pair without this right here and without this right here it's just like an all black pair and it says Balenciaga right here but it's basically like a sock shoe that's my best way of explaining it it says Balenciaga 10 like a, with a little logo on top of it it has like a little B logo right there and it's the, probably the most comfortable shoe that I've ever put on my feet I'm gonna keep it honest with you it's literally it feels like you're walking on like a cloud like you're walking with socks and no shoes but the bottom is like sturdy this is a really comfortable shoe I got these I forgot how I got these, but I got these a while ago. They're old. These used to be in style like years ago, but they're just really comfortable and they go for like a thousand dollars retail, but you can probably find them used for like under 600. But yeah, it's literally like you're walking on a, like a, a cloud. It's like a sock. Like, look, you can just go like this, crunch it back up. It's all like a sock material and it'll just stand back up. But it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a sock shoe. But yeah, is it focused? On to the next shoe, man. The next shoe I'm going to show y'all is these black Louis, I don't know if y'all can see the logo right here, but it's the Louis Vuitton logo. It's black Louis Vuitton trainers. These are like some, like, almost, they kind of remind me of like Hirachis, but they're like a little bit more different. They're very comfortable. They're old, they're not like the new trainers, but they're recent, like they're not years old. They're just different from the new trainers. But they're Louis Vuitton trainers. I got these a while ago, I think I traded for them. But yeah, it says the LV logo right here. This right here, it's a nice like black and gray shoe, like if you're wearing like, black like a black hoodie and gray pants but like it's like black right here and gray right there but yes there's some black and gray Louis Vuitton trainers not too much just some some calm shoes you feel what I'm saying the bottoms the bottoms are cool they have like the little Louis Vuitton like pluses and like little logos and shit and it says Vuitton but yeah on to the next, next shoe I'm gonna be showing y'all are these blue and white Dior V23s now i recently posted with these on my instagram i'm gonna pop it up right here and i ain't gonna lie a lot of people had mixed opinions mad people were saying the the outfit was fire they liked it it's different some people were saying the shoes threw it off some people were saying the pants threw it off but me really i ain't gonna lie i don't give a fuck the outfit was fire to me it's my page so y'all could go hate somewhere else but they're just blue they're like, almost like converse but they're um like a little bit different like the leather it's like you could like i don't know if you can see but you could like move it. it's like really loose and comfortable it's almost kind of like a dress shoe but yeah i got their dior shoes they go for around like a thousand ninety i think they got bees right here it's pretty dirty on the bottom line a lot but they got some bees right here and it says dior and then yeah they're just blue and white a lot of people call them dior converse but they're called dior b23s but yeah just a calm like if you're wearing blue and white or if you're wearing blue just a calm shoe you feel what i'm saying but yeah on to the next shoe hey man so the next shoe i'm gonna show y'all i ain't gonna lie the most it's the most comfortable shoe in my whole collection like in my opinion if i didn't care about the way that i dress i would wear the shoe every day i would wake up put the shoe on go to the corner store go to school go here go out record everything with this shoe it's the most comfortable shoe ever and I actually got it on sale, which is crazy. I'm gonna have to give me like a, a pair in a different color. But it's the Balenciaga Furry Slides. Y'all can hate all y'all want. These is literally like, 
you're walking on a carpet all day. Like you know when you when you're at somebody's house or you're somewhere and there's like a a carpet, like and it's a really like nice comfortable carpet. It's literally like you're walking on those all day. It's furred all on the inside, the top right here, the toe, everywhere is furred, and they're actually comfortable to walk in and everything. They're very comfortable. I got these at Saks. I think for like three fifty. They were on the sale rack, which for some reason Saks has a sale rack. But I saw them. And I tried them on. They were really comfortable. They say Balenciaga right here with like a red and white swoosh. Then it says Balenciaga on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see. It says Balenciaga on the bottom. But yeah, the most comfortable shoe. You can really put this on with like any like cream, brownish, orangish like outfit. I really want to post with these soon. I have like an outfit in my in my mind. But yeah, you can really post with anything. But yeah, my Balenciaga free slice. Most comfortable shoe. Oh, I promise you bodies. Now the next shoe I'm gonna show y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think I've worn this shoe once on God. I've never, um, like, I don't recall wearing this. I think I've worn it out once. Max, I've worn this shoe was three times. Do I regret buying it? No, because it was a cool collection, but I don't, like, ever, like, I don't know what I'll wear this with. Maybe one day I'll find an outfit. But it's these black and gold and gray babesters. These are, like, only 100 made. They're a Madison Avenue um, exclusive in New York. There's a babe store on Madison Avenue, New York City, and when I stopped there, they had like two pairs of these shoes left, and they said they were exclusive to the store, Madison Avenue exclusive, there's only 100 made, and they had my size and then like a size smaller. I caught my size, I think I got them for 300 in Madison Avenue, they gave me like this little gold pen, I'll show you on in a second. But yeah, they're just black and gold, pretty much just black Air Forces, but babe, just like the other babe stores right here. Also on the back, it has like the babe logo, but it's like a Lady Liberty, I don't know if y'all can see. They got like the Statue of Liberty thing on the babe. They got like this little babe gold thing right here. But yeah, I don't really know what to put this on because it's weird. It has black, it has gray, gold. On to the next shoe. All right, so the next shoe that I'm gonna be showing y'all, you can have very mixed opinions on this shoe, but it's the Nike SB Mummy Dunk. I ain't gonna lie, these are like, this is a very tough, like creative shoe. Like you got the, it's a skateboard shoe. That's what SB stands for, but it's still got like the SB laces. You got these like eyes on the back that I think are really tough right here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, you can't just focus in. And it's like all thrashed. Like the whole shoe is like distressed. Basically, like, hold up. You can see like the whole shoe is like all distressed right here. It's, it's almost like you're wearing ripped jeans, but as a shoe. It has like this little neon green tab right here. It's like a cream color. And the bottoms, the soles of the shoe glow in the dark, which I think is also really cool. Like if you have like a party or something, they'll glow in the dark. The insole is also really cool. It's like this outdoor grass type thing, which is really cool. It has like this dark green swoosh. And then the eyes on the back are on both of the shoe. But yeah, it's just a really tough shoe overall. And I fuck with it a lot. But yeah, and also the this right here is another eye that's on both shoes. But yeah, on to the next shoe. The next shoe that I'm gonna show, it's just a basic shoe, it's a calm shoe. Easy foam runners, you feel what I'm saying? Not too much on this shoe. I bought this when I was also in New York when I had bought those black and gold um, babesters. But yeah, I got them from, I forgot what store in New York, but it was a streetwear store. They had them up for like 250. I needed some comfortable shoes. But yeah, I think this is like the, the um, ochre colorway. But yeah, just some calm shoes. I need to get the black ones though, low key. But yeah, some brown foam runners. Next shoe. Next shoe that I'm gonna be showing you got mixed opinions. I really put it on, but it's still a nice shoe to me. It's these Bape Superstar Adidas collab. Um, it's not like a normal Bapesta. It still is a Bapesta, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it says Bapesta right there. But it's a Bape X Adidas collab. One of the tongues say Bape right here. Another one of the tongues say Adidas. But I really put this on whenever I'm wearing like a green, like olive, or like a, maybe when I'm wearing my camo, grape, my camo Bape hoodie. But yeah, it has a star right here. The other side has stripes, star, stripes, like this, like this. But yeah, the lace says bathing ape. I don't know if you can see the lace tips. And then it has the little bape gold thing right here. And the toe box is actually really different. It's like a shell. It's like a shell box for the toe. And then the bottoms, just some basic bottoms. These are really dirty, I ain't gonna lie. I think I was like running through mud or like I wasn't like a, I don't know, but it the top, the toe box is really dirty. And the back says Bapesta and one says Adidas. But yeah, I think I got these for like 300 on GOAT or like 200 on GOAT like a while ago. 
when I first wanted some beef this and I didn't know that the toe box was like this but yeah the inside has like a little gold babe tag if you can see and yeah just some calm babe green camel shoes on to the next shoe all right so the next pair of shoes that i'm going to be showing y'all is going to be the jordan 4 fire reds you know what i'm saying this is like a calm black red and white shoe got a little bit of everything but it's just a normal jordan 4 i think these have ranged from some around some time of the year going for like 400 sometimes it goes for more sometimes it goes for less I got these off of a friend of mine that had them for a year from he got them off for retail when they first dropped and he had wanted to trade me so I had traded him he had went to one of my schools like a while ago but yeah they just some Jordan 4's fire red you know what I'm saying we all start but yeah um you could really wear this with like any red outfit if you're wearing like a red and white tee i remember i put it on with like a chicago bulls red and white tee but yeah just some calm jordan four fire reds but on to the next shoe next shoe that i'm gonna show y'all is my forces you know what i'm saying this is just a calm all white comfortable shoe you already know about the forces phasos af ones whatever you want to call them i've had these for like over a year now i think this pair and they're i don't know if it's the lighting doing it justice but they're not really that dirty they're not creased either, if you could tell. But yeah, these are just a pair that I'll wear if I'm wearing like an all white outfit or like an all black outfit. It really goes with everything. You already know how this go. But yeah, just a pair of clean forces. I gotta get some new ones though, cause these laces are getting fucked up. But yeah, on to the next shoe. The next pair of shoes I got is these Louis Vuitton um, trainers. I got these off of the app Offer Up. Um, somebody had them up for sale in my area and it was for a good price. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to cop these, but they're just another pair of LV trainers. That I showed you another pair earlier in the video, black and white. It has like this cool Velcro strap right here that you could strap and unstrap and shit. But it says Vuitton right here, right here. It has like a Louis Vuitton logo right there. And then one of them says Louis, the other one says Vuitton, but yeah, just a cool, tough shoe very comfortable it looks nice it's pretty worn i don't know if you can tell but it's just another black and white shoe just like i showed y'all got like a velcro strap i think you go for like around i think like 1100 plus depending on which kind of trainer you get i think these are like 1300 but yeah it's a tough shoe pretty comfortable almost feels like you're wearing like a mix of air forces and like dunks but it's weird but yeah just a pair of LV trainers black and white but on to the next shoe next shoe that I'm gonna show y'all is these black and white gray whatever the URB 23s these I got I forgot how I got these but I know I didn't get them um first like straight from the store I think I got, I got them second hand from somebody pretty pretty cool shoe you know what I'm saying I, I got these brand new second hand like I got them brand new from somebody else so it wasn't from the store but um yeah i think these go for like a thousand flat or like 950. they got the b's just like the other ones and then it says dior right here it says dior right there it's the dior converse you already seen the pair of these the blue and white ones but yeah this is just a black and white version you could pretty much wear this with anything it looks like a pretty professional shoe you feel what i'm saying you can wear this to like a dinner casual attire but yeah they're comfortable they almost feel like a converse but a little bit more comfortable and nicer because it has like this nicer mesh material but yeah these are the black and white the orb 23s on to the next shoe next shoe i'm gonna show y'all i got this from another friend that i had at school it's the same person that gave me those fire reds but it's the university blue jordan ones i haven't worn these in over a year i bought them because well, i got them from him i don't know if i paid or if i trade him but um i bought these because at the time at school i had like a red and um not red a blue and white outfit and I was wearing like just white forces and I was like, yo, these shoes will go tough for my outfit. I'm going to get them off his feet right now. So I negotiated with him. I ended up getting them off of his feet. And then I never really wore them again because I pretty much like I have like a couple pair of Jordans that I don't really wear. But, oh shit, that shit just fell. But yeah, just some Jordan ones. You feel what I'm saying? I don't really wear them, but yeah, University Blue Jordan ones. I think these go for like 400 Something like that if y'all want to get yourself a pair. Next shoe I'm going to be showing y'all is the Jordan 3 Cool Gray. I ain't going to lie, I got this in the trade when I traded my Strange Loves with the um, Off-White Dunk over there. But um, when I had said that I did the trade earlier in the video. But you know what I'm saying? It's just a cool, literally a cool gray shoe. 
but it's just calm you know what i'm saying i, I think i've worn these like like maybe like twice the bottoms are a little bit dirty but i just be wearing my shoes for real but they're laced they're clean no creasing pretty much just a nice clean shoe which like a great outfit i'm personally not a fan of threes this is my only pair of threes i'm pretty sure but yeah this is cool great threes on to the next shoe the next shoe that i'm gonna show y'all are these bread easy 350s i got a couple pairs of yeezys that i bought back when yeezys was first like popping because i heard they were comfortable and stuff but these are like the bread 350s this black and red shoe you feel what i'm saying pretty comfortable y'all know how yeezys go i i'm not gonna lie i don't wear these at all but i think they go for like a couple hundred on stock x but yeah just a calm black and red shoe trying to go for comfort but yeah on to the next shoe the next shoe that i'm going to show y'all is another pair of easy 350s i don't even know the name of these i'm gonna keep it a buck but these are some like i don't even know what color these are i'm gonna just keep it real with y'all it's like blue orange yellow cream there's a lot of blue on this side but it's just another pair of 350s they're pretty clean i can see the insole they're not really worn but um yeah this is another pair of 350s you feel what i'm saying so the next pair of shoes that i'm going to be showing y'all is brand new in the box i ain't gonna lie i never wore these i got them and never wore them because i couldn't find an outfit to go with them but they're the um the jordan fives the purple and white ones i know a lot of people don't mess with like jordan fives but they're cool like i fuck with the off white ones the names of these i don't even know the name of these I don't know the name of these. I think they're like the grape or some shit. I forgot, but I don't know the name of them. I never wore them. They're still brand new in the box, never worn. But it's the purple and white Jordan 5s. Clear bottom, you know what I'm saying? I never wore these. It's still factory lace and everything. But yeah, just some white and purple Jordan 5s. I think these go for like maybe like 200, 250. But I still got the lace lock and everything on. No creasing. They're brand new. If I find an outfit with these, I'll put them on. These, I got these off the shelf at the store. I think it was the Foot Locker. But, um, I think it was a Foot Locker, not the Foot Locker. But yeah, just a cool little clean pair of white and purple shoes. I don't really wear purple that much, so that's probably why I never found an outfit for these. But if I do, I'll put them on. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, on to the next shoe. shoe. Um, it's a basketball shoe. These are the Aunt Poro Kevin Durant, like KD shoes. I only obviously wear these when I'm playing basketball. But they, I just really, I don't know if y'all know, but I really fuck with the color pink. But they just have pink um, basketball shoe. They're nice, comfortable for when you're playing basketball. But yeah, I think these go for like 200, 250 if you want to cop yourself a pair. But these are the KD on pearls. But yeah, on to the next shoe. Hey man, but this this is the last but not least pair of shoes. This is my best and favorite pairs of shoes. Pairs of shoes. What the fuck? <laughs> my best and favorite pair of shoes. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all already know what it is. Y'all don't. I'm gonna lie. My Crocs. You feel what I'm saying? These is the, I'm going to the corner store. These is the, I'm walking out the crib. These is the slip and slide. This is the everything, everyday shoe. But you know what I'm saying? We got the gibbets on there. We got apple juice. You feel what I'm saying? We got my credit card. We got a uh, CDG. We got a uh, uh, Luigi. I don't know how that nigga ended up on there. I ain't gonna lie. We got the iHeart YRN. If y'all don't know YRN, y'all are the YRN. Y'all are the Young Rich Nation. My supporters, you know what I'm saying? My subscribers, Young Rich Nation. But that's the Crocs. But hey man, that's the end of the sneaker collection. This shit messed up my room angle. I don't know if y'all can see that. But there's mad shoes right here. There's shoes right here on my desk. Over here on the stand. There's like a pair of black ass right there. I forgot I even had those. But you know what I'm saying, man? This is the end of the vlog. But, or not the vlog, but the end of the shoe collection. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Hold on, I gotta look good for the outro. But hey man, make sure to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications if you made it to the end comment what should i have y'all comment collection any everybody that comments collection i'm gonna be hard on your comment you know what i'm saying i'm gonna know who's the real supporters but make sure to like subscribe hold up bro i'm really about to get your but hey man if you made it to the end make sure to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications make sure to comment collection if you made it but i love y'all have a good night i appreciate all the support i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video stay tuned man oh my god y'all niggas bet you'll be for y'all i'll be dead whole lot of whole lot of hoes whole lot of whole lot of men yeah whole lot of whole lot of clothes nigga be stunning my sweat whole lot of whole lot of emeralds please tuck your baguettes